Lay. Sir. Hello everyone, this is Aaron Ashley from BoxMS.com, here with future Duke-bound Quinn Cook. Um, we're here at the McDonald's All-American. So Quinn, how has this experience been for you? How has it been to be, like, how does it feel to be selected as a McDonald's All-American? Um, it's just a blessing, you know. I dreamed about being here, and uh, I'm finally here. And uh, I'm, I'm just very humbled just to be here with all these great players and all this media and NBA scouts just looking at us, and it's just been very fun. A couple days ago, you guys visited the Ronald McDonald House, and you know that's probably one of the most you know moving moments of the whole event. And it's really it's the whole thing that's behind this event. How has that experience been like for you? Uh, it's been great. I mean, you know, I I'm very fortunate to have my health, and you know, I don't have any friends or family like that. So just to see those kids just smile, and you know, this could be their last day on Earth, and just just to see them smile, we made their days, and. It was just a blessing, and I, uh, it, it really touched me that, you know, we made an impact on their lives. Speaking of injury, you had a little bit of a knee, you know, situation earlier in this year. How has it been, and are you 100% yet, or do you feel like you're not quite there? I know I'm not 100%. I, I've had this injury uh, my freshman year, the same injury, and it took me about a year to get to 100%. You know, I'm about 70, 75 now, but, you know, if I can run and jump, I'm going to play, so, you know. It's, it's, it's okay as long as I'm out there competing, uh, I'll be fine. Since you're not 100% and you want to get to that point, what are you going to do over the summer to get yourself prepared for Duke basketball and the whole uh, NCAA? I'm going to rehab again, uh, start over. You know, uh, at OKO, OK, there's not a lot of like, machines and ice, like technology there that I can, uh, you know, benefit my knee. So, you know, Duke has all that. So I'm going to do my rehab over and just get ready for the ACC. All of us know that one of the reasons why you chose Duke was because of Coach K. Now, what about his character really drove you to choose that school over all the other schools that you chose? Um, I can talk to him off the court, I'm, like, about, uh, you know, my personal life and, you know, school and just things like that, not just basketball. You know, uh, when you see Coach K, you always see him mad and, you know, angry, but he's, he's very funny. You know, my official visit, I really got a chance to just be with him and, you know, just see how he is on the court and off the court. And he's just a better person than he is coach. So uh, it's just an honor just for having him recruit me and, you know, to play for him next year. Duke is one of the big powerhouses in basketball. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of competition. You're going to have a lot of great guys that are going in there. How are you going to respond to the co uh, competition and the pressure that you will have to encounter when you're over there? Um, I'm just going to compete. Um, you know, uh, I, I know how to play the game of basketball as well. So, you know, I'm just going to compete, give it my all, and, uh, you know, just – let my plan do the talking. There's something about, that's about you that not a lot of people know. Uh, I can sing. Oh, you can sing? Are you going to be the next American Idol? No, nah, I'm going to be the uh, the only Quinn Cook, like slash Justin Bieber, you know what I'm saying? Slash Justin Bieber. A little bit Trey songs for the ladies. A little yeah. Trey song for the ladies, you know what I'm saying? I got to go back to one of the basketball questions, but, you know, UNC versus Duke. That is a huge, huge game. I know I got some friends down there, and it is such a you know tr good tradition and everything like that. Uh, how excited are you you to be able to be part of that? Oh man, I I grew up watching that rivalry. You know, it's crazy. I grew up a Tar Heel fan, so just uh, put on the other jersey. It's going to be fun, and uh, you know I've it's just going to be crazy. I, I just really words can't really describe my expectations going into the game, and. Uh, I was going to uh, go out there and try to play well. During the practices uh, a couple days ago, I guess, or yesterday, uh, we saw you guys doing your dunking thing, and we saw you try to get up there with some of those big guys and stuff like that. Are we going to see you dunking anytime soon? Yeah, I mean, I, I could dunk. It's just, you know, I, I lead a dunker for the big man. I'd rather shoot threes because threes are worth, uh, worth more. So, But, I'm, you know, you know I, I got to get loose, and, you know, I can get up. So I'm going to try to get something in the game tomorrow. Everyone stay tuned for Quinn Cook, see if he gets some dunks in, and stay tuned for his new album coming out. It's going to be a little bit of Trey Song's Marvin Gaye, all for you ladies out there. And uh, we wish him good luck in the season. Mike Gilchrist is featuring with me, so yeah, watch out for that. Oh, yeah, Michael Gilchrist is on it too. Everyone go buy it on CD. It's going to come out in a couple of months. We'll let you know. It's all right, already the show goes on all night. Till the morning we dream so long. Anybody ever wonder when they would see the sun?